What's up, YouTube? Wraithed here. We got something a little new and different today. Uh, a lot of Smite players are arena players. I think it's like 70% of the population plays arena, and nobody's ever done an arena tier list, or not recently. Uh, so I got my buddy Pod here. He's a great player. He and I are going to go through the list and, uh, you know, kind of pick out where everything belongs. The first one is obviously Nox. She goes at the top of the list. She's a scummy character to play in arena. She gets her own tier. Maybe one or two other gods that end up there, but uh, she's very strong and annoying, and I hate her and any play who plays her uh, in arena. So with that, let's dive in. We'll just go alphabetically. I think that's the easiest thing to do. Pod, you cool with that? Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, Achilles. I think he's okay because he's got range on his one, but I'm putting him like, like I'm solid B tier. B tier uh, to possibly A tier because of the execute. So, yeah, I think the what you're really doing in Arena all the time is just fighting, 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 right? And the execute um, comes into really a lot of key situations in these team fights that are got it. very condensed, very chaotic in Arena. So I'd put him in A tier just because, um, especially if you build him more damage in there, it's just a brawl fest so i got you man a tier he goes agni i, I think agni's s tier because he could just build a bunch of cooldown and he sits back he's safe as hell and he just rains yeah. hell on you i'd have to agree with that agni um, s tier amc amc where are we putting I, I, I b b or c tier um yeah i'm going c tier not having a team fight all really sucks in arena so yep Op watch S tier easy. Yes, yeah, this is easy. I mean S tier easy. On her, I think on her stinks in arena, but that's just me. Like you have I like him, somewhat of an early game, but everybody just comes online and you're useless. I put him in B tier. Um he's slight because like if I'm comparing okay. him to AMC, I think so the pillar can be really good, especially if you're fighting for like invades on buffs and stuff. Um yep. you can do some tricky stuff with it if your team's really ahead. Um, invades and, in arena. Know, his, his, his ult is really good in, in a lot of situations if you have the right setup. So I think he's just better. Okay. Than AMC. Amaterasu. I know where A I'm putting her. It's either I'm, I'm putting her in S tier. You got yeah. that aura. You got that passive. You're team fighting constantly. Ama excels when you're team fighting. She's awesome. Dude, yeah. dad, Daddy Goobus. He just needed to get her online. Um, Daddy Goobus really is... Is, he's better in arena. Yeah, I think he's S tier in arena for sure. Yeah, probably S, just because if you're not like Anubis, as long as you can just look at someone, which arena it's really hard to get ganked, obviously. Yeah, uh, you can. You're fine usually. You can see so. people coming on Anubis. I think yeah, that's what exactly. makes sense. Yeah. Um, and you can you can you know when to avoid the or how to avoid the anti heal because you can see everybody at all times. Yeah, exactly. Right, so you can always pick a time your engage with somebody's backing or dead or whatever. All right. Yeah. Uh, Al Kwong. I, he's a solid B to A for me just because he can just go around and execute people and then get late game. I think it's a similar theory to Achilles in that he can... It's The problem is he doesn't come online super fast, so I'd probably put him in closer to the B tier just because it takes so long, especially in yep. Arena, yep. for him to get online. Aphrodite, um, I think she goes in the uh, the FU category. I, I, I gotta agree with that one. Yep. Um, FU. Play this character in Arena. King you're, rocks. You're, a, you're a big meanie. Apollo, garbage. Garbage. Yes. All sucks. C or D? Uh, maybe even AMC. Maybe even E. E tier? I don't even know what E would constitute, but I'd put. It let's in let's get rid of E tier. Hold on. How do I delete this? Removed here. Yeah. D tier. Apollo. Arachne. Yeah, so I'm I'm a little conflicted on Arachne because I've seen Spooter Bitch do really well, but I've also seen Spooter Bitch get destroyed. Um. Probably honestly, I'd put her in C tier. I think C tier is too. Arena, it depends on what only, level you're playing at. Like if you're yeah. kind of like, you know, average to below average player, like I think she'd do well. This is an yeah, arena tier list. Yeah, it is. Um, I think at a below average level, you, you're gonna do well in Arachne. You just come from the side and you just I think eat people. For that reason you can bump her up to B then. Yeah. Um, because I'm thinking from my perspective, like when where I we get like the tr arena. the sweaty try hard arenas when we yeah. play, it's I throw, terrible. I throw her in B. I throw her in B. All right, uh, Aries. It's either S tier or F U tier. For no, Aries. he's F U tier, a hundred percent. Yeah. Artemis, I'm throwing an A tier, weak early game, great team fight. Ult. Yeah, fantastic god in uh, arena. Ardio S tier, hands down. Athena. Think, yeah, I'd I agree with that. Athena, I think is bad. I think she's B. I think she, she's. Taunt, so I think she's great. Up, but the alt's bad. Okay. I I think she's A because of the taunt, which is far more yeah. useful than the ult. Like, the ult's not useful at all except for mitigations. 
you can't really get into team fights with it but just being able to set up for like a kukulkin every six seconds on cooldown true. is like I, super busted i agree with that logic a wheelix dog but bad uh c tier baba i'm going a or s oh, <laughs> uh it's a lot it's pretty easy for her to stack uh there's a lot of waves and she just does tons of aoe damage which yeah, is i put her in s i think she's really good in yep. arena. bacchus daddy bacchus bacchus is a or s tier i think he's in any non he's, he's like he's like athena really cool. right yeah he's similar the flop is basically the you same. can't it's stack at all what no the enemy team is always near your house so you are you're always generating stacks yeah exactly bacchus what sora um, probably similar to Arachne. I think the things that make Arachne weak make Bakasura weak as yep, well. Yep, I'm agreeing uh, with you. So, uh, Baron Samadhi, I'm I'm thinking A tier here. That heal is super OP. Baron's either A or S for me. Um, right, let's, the... let's give him S because he sucks in conquest. So we'll give him S. <laughs> we'll give it to him. Give him a little bump. So Bastet's up next, and my feelings on Bastet are. If the other team is really good at applying their hard CC, she's like dog butt, right? But if she is not getting punished for leaping in, she will out damage everybody in the entire game. That's those are my feelings. Yeah, um, I think Bass is just a god awful character now, so I'd throw her in B or C tier. Actually, C -tier I'd throw her in to, C tier, C, C tier for cat, C tier for cat, Bellona, Bellona. I think a solid A. Middle of the pack, not too great. Yeah. Not too terrible. Team fight alt. Uh, if you, like, I guess if you get lucky and queue into, like, two hunters or something, it's good. But, yep. Yeah. FU territory, by the way. I threw Ares in there. Ares is definitely an FU god. Uh, yeah, no, no. I, I, remember, I agreed with that. In, in arena, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Kabraken, S tier for me. Easy S tier for me. Disruption. Yeah. Walls. Full, full damage Kabraken in Arena just absolutely slapper dapper. Slapperonis. So, yeah. No, he the initiate is so strong for him, so Camazots, C tier for Camazots. Crap. Yeah. You can't do what he does best in Arena. You can't like his his laning phases and his sustain in general off camps it doesn't work as well. Like his passive is basically nothing a yep. lot of the time. Yep. It, so I agree. Kernanos. I th I think Kernanos I think he's, I, he's up there for me because he's probably same on Artemis. I think he so he's a better early game than Artemis, but his alt is worse. Um, I think if you have a lot of setup for the alt where you can actually hit it, it's good. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So I I put him on a similar tier to Artemis. We'll give him the A tier. I I think he well actually yeah you're right. Cerberus S tier S tier yeah. Not as good as Ares, I think, but still really, really good. Ooh, and how about Shock Daddy? I've seen Shocks run at people because they get their itemization yeah, yeah. online real cheap. Shock A or S tier. Um, the ult is actually really strong in Arena. You can, like I said, there's a lot of grouping in Arena, so those three uh, AOE can also be really good. Um, he can just run around yep. the map all the time, so yeah, I think A. Changa. I think Changa is mediocre at best. I'd put her in B tier. I I think if you're bringing her... Like, her ult's her... good, but it's not that good. This is an arena yeah. tier list, yes. Yeah. Uh, All right. Turn a booger. C or D tier. Yeah, I, I, think, I was going to put him in D. I think he's terrible. Think, it takes forever for him to get online, but... I think it's better. I think he's better than Apollo, but not by much. So I'm happy with him in D tier. That's fine. Yep. Yeah, and there's like no, you can't really even play around as three either because there's nothing to dash into. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's really hard. Um, you're playing right next to those pillars. Daddy Chiron, I, Daddy Chiron, I kind of like a little hey, bit. So the reason I'm an A tier. Yeah, I, I I'm I'm an A tier with Daddy Chiron here. Oh shit. What the cleanse is really good in arena. Like I said, as I keep going back to, it's just grouped up Man. often disjuncted fights. So and and that ultimate dude, everybody's it's always really lined up. Oh yeah. You can always oh, yeah. hit it. Uh, Kronos. I think Kronos is an interesting one. I think he's he's B or better. B B to A, probably right I'd on the cusp. I throw him in B. Yep. I think he. I think the thing he just takes way too long to get online, compared to other gods. Yep. Cthulhu. Fuck. Yep. Fu. Yep. yep. By far. Fu territory. All right, Kukulin. How are we thinking about Kukulin? He's solid. 
Solid. That's Sol a lot of fighting. We'll give it an A tier. Yeah, he has good initiate. Oh. Enough with blink. So. Cupid S tier easily. Yeah, S tier is for Cupid. Um, I'm thinking Daji is either S or, or F U. Uh, I'd say S just because I think I'd rather like compared to I look at every single god in the F U tier. I'm like, is Daji on that level? No, because she takes too long to get online in terms of like her actual right, damage. Right. But her ult is obviously still really good. But I think well, Ares initiate is just. And and like Daji's ult and her kit combos really really well with the other Fu characters, right? Like you get yeah. you get a Cthulhu disrupting stuff, you get an Ares who burns everybody's beads. Daji's nuts. Disco is an S tier for me, but I don't know about you because she just whips out damage and people are so grouped up, you almost always hit two man yeah, no, strifes. I think I think that's perfectly reasonable. Yep, Makes, plays to really to her strengths. Yep, one hundred percent. Can somebody change the title? Uh, so we're doing arena tier list. So people who are coming in, looks like we got a whole bunch of people joined. So, uh, Erlong Shen, he's actually, he's weak for me in arena. Uh, I know he's got the taunt and stuff like that, but I really feel like he, uh, does not excel when people know you're coming. Yeah. No, I'm, I, like I'm, I'm a B tier either. or below, maybe even C, probably C uh, tier. I look at him. Mm. So what makes the gods in B and C tier really bad is their one, look at all of them, they lack a lot of hard C, C, obviously like a lot of them are carries, so like they don't necessarily have to have a ton of hard C, C, sure. but I think Erling, if you are just using it for the taunt, why not just play Athena then, if you're going to do that. I yeah, think. pretty much, so, that's the way I look at it, right? He could yeah, brawl, but like... I'd throw him in B. Alright, we'll, we'll give him a solid B. Faf Daddy is S tier for me. Good zone control, good safety, great buff for your team, good CC. I just, man, I don't know. I, I'd actually put Fa Fafnir in A or B. Really? Because, well, one, he... We'll split so the difference. His, his, CC, his CC is dependent on him hitting his one. So yep. we're taking account to every level of play of Arena. Uh, that's bad. His objective shred does not matter in Arena. So that's... Well, the irrelevant. objective is to shred enemy yes, that's tanks. That's true. But the problem is it's hard to get a giant chorus on your team, like after everyone's initiated and stuff, I think it just makes it really clunky for his kit. And then his yep. CC is just mediocre, so. Yep. All right. Fenrir. Fenrir, I think you could build tanky and do, like, Fenrir's real good. work. Yeah, Fenrir's good. I'll give him an A I tier. I'll put him in A. Uh, Freya. F you. I, in, all, in all modes, Freya's F you. So. Ganesh Daddy. S or A for me. I'm also impartial, like, toward... Going S here. I love Ganesh, so... Yeah, I'd throw him in S. Silence is really strong. Alt's amazing. Uh, Geb, I'm thinking S tier. Blink Geb alts yeah. are, yeah, you know... Geb. A lot of arenas based around setup, right? Yeah. Right? And so the best setup wins. Because if you're, like... If you're comboing, a, like, a Blink Geb alt with, like, a Kukulkin and some Ho Yi oh, yeah. Suns or something like that, like, you are slapping... Yeah, initiation uh, is king in arena. Yep, one hundred percent. Guan Yu, I think Guan Yu's just dog shit everywhere. So, I'd put him in C tier. Yeah, I don't like him at all. Hachiman, I middle of the pack for me, B to A tier. Uh, I'd throw him in A. His ult's good. It can get, it can hit everybody. Yeah, he's really safe. Easily. Hades, yeah, he's safe. He can, he, the one can poke from a while. So Hades S tier for me. Yeah, I, I think Hades fine. is fabulous. Yeah, Especially when combined with these other beads burners like Daji, Ares, Nox, yeah. uh, I think, Hebo. I think Hebo's super really good. Yeah, he's, he's really good in arena. Yeah, yeah. S tier, not quite FU, but he's good. He's really good. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to fly through this because I feel like we talk like for ten minutes about each god. We're gonna get yeah, exactly. It. We're gonna be here forever. All right. I don't think A assassins are good in arena. Kali's okay. I think Kali's probably one of the best because you can. Pick your engagements. I want everybody's low. Hell, hell's f you for me. F you. Yeah. Hell, hell's the cleanse is so strong and the heal. Yeah. No, All right. Get her, get her out of here. All right. Little, little hemdelier action. How we feel about hem, hemdel? The three's still strong in arena. Um, for escaping actually yep. because the yep. distance isn't that great. Yep. Um, good God. Uh, the vision doesn't matter as much, obviously, which is a strong part of his kit. I'd throw him in A tier, probably. A tier is exactly where I was going to put him. Yeah. It takes away a lot of his strengths, but it's still strong. Hera's yep. really good as well in Arena. So. I think yeah. anti-heal is just too good. That's why I put Guan down so low. Yeah. I don't think he's good at all. All right. Uh, Hera. 
Uh, less, see, this one's tough for me because she does a buttload of damage. The polymorph is like the best CC. It's got range, so she can just shell it out while p other people are in and fighting. But she doesn't have the escape, so I'm hovering between A and S tier with her. I think she's A tier. A tier? I think, uh, okay. Yeah, compared to a lot of the mages, like, she has a lot of bursts and stuff, and the shield is yep. decent enough for her to escape and get out, but she can get locked down super easily, which is easy in arena, so. Yep, yep. Polymorph break on damage? No, it doesn't. Uh, all right, Herc. Herc's just OP everywhere, but I don't think he's FU territory because I feel like I he's. he's tier. I feel like he's manageable in uh, he's arena. A more manageable. Yeah, he's more manageable in arena, but it, I mean, just damage. You you build a regrowth in arena, and you just never really die. You just no, no one ever can catch you. So. Yep. Horus is B tier for me. Useless alt. Yeah, yeah. useless alt. Good setup. Uh. Ho oh, Yi, yeah, S tier, big ult, yep. lots of damage. Can't really utilize the ricochet very well, but it's not like essential to be a good Ho Yi. You don't need to. Yeah, exactly. You don't. You, I mean, the stun is enough. Like yep. honestly, yeah. Nasty stun on a short cooldown. I'm with it. Little little Hoon bots, plus sides. Easy to see him coming. I put him in A. Yeah. His ult's still strong no matter what. Yep. And he does good damage still with all the itemization. So. All right, what about Isis? I actually think she's a little nutty for Arena because you can hit those, like, long-range spirit balls just as poke. She's slippery with her one, and her teamfight ult is pretty good if things pop off. Yeah, I'd throw her an A or S. Um, I think, we'll give her the A treatment. I think she's good. I don't. I think her ultimate can be a little clunky sometimes because yep. uh, just because of how the fights go out, but and yep. the objectives aren't really a thing. Yep, I'm with you. Uh, is it Nami? A? I mean, I, she's not great. She's not bad. Her, or an a. her ult's actually decent. Uh, it's really easy to hit in arena. Much. Yeah. Her her wave clear doesn't matter nearly as much in arena, but uh, she still, you know, has a good enough... Like, the three is good enough in arena because it's not like... Like, it's, it's similar with Anubis. If you can see them coming as, as an army, it's a lot better. So... Yep. I'm with it. Uh, Giannis, our next D tier... Yeah, D tier for sure. He's like he's fun to try and snipe people as they're going back into their fountain, but like he's so exposed. Yeah, you and can. you can't do Janice -y things with you can with just, Janice. Uh, you can just stand next to the uh, the pillars or the buff walls the whole time, easy. But now, yeah, terrible. Yep, 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 yep. All right, uh, Jing Wei. I actually kind of like. I think Jing Wei is like a little OP. Because she can leave base, fly over into your backline, and kill you from behind. I think generally, while that idea is sound, uh, the fights are generally over before she can do that. <laughs> like the fight, um, I think she's B tier. I think the thing, like, right. the safety is all right, but she, what makes a hunter I think really good in arena, com like compared to like a mage per se, is the CC, like yep. good yep. team fight alt. So I put her in B tier just because the passive is kind of useless and the safety, while it's good. I'd rather change it for CC and Arena. I got you. I'm with it. All right, Daddy Yorm. I, I like. He's not an FU character because I don't see one, and I'm like, ah, fudge. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's easier to um, down. But like, he's definitely S tier for sure. Just fight yeah. disruption, splitting people up. That's really good. We have some disagreement with uh, the Chunga placement. By the way, I just want to let you know that Chunga should be higher. Mm. Uh, Yorm sucks in Arena. I, I don't understand how you I don't understand how Yorm can possibly suck in arena because you I mean you could literally just build full damage hit people with two shots of your ult and then just go back to base and wait 60 seconds and do it again yeah. when team fights Odesku knows about conquest he clearly doesn't know the most popular game dude I spent right, more so. time in arena than anybody here in this chat so I don't want to hear it no, sorry, I don't Yorm know. gets nuked instantly how I don't know. Huh? Huh? I mean, that's why I said, like, I mean, he's better in Conquest. Yeah, it depends obviously. on how you're playing him, but, I mean, like, like, if you just ult and go in and use two strikes of your ult and then leave. I like, don't think you can build the full damage, like, Soul Reaver, Magus. No. That you can build in Conquest as easily um, because you can get focused out more in Arena. But it's also a lot harder to focus people in Arena at times because the fights can be really disjointed and kind of non-telegraphed especially if you're not partied up so right 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 yeah uh There's kali 
A. I'll move I, Changa I, up one, a one rank. B. I think she she takes a long time to get online, but also like it's also really easy for her to get Penta. She gets items for free. Yeah, I, I'd go A. I think she's good. Capri's S. Hands down S. Like that, any god that can snowball a fight like that in arena is good. Yep. Capri's good. Yep. Arthur. Arthur D for me. I'd throw him in C. Um, brawl. He can brawl really. I well. just hate he's... him. I hate that god. <laughs> I'd put him in C. All right. I think. I think he's still. He can still be a, annoying enough and brawl well enough. Uh, Kukulkin S. I think. Oh yeah. Easy. Easy S nothing. on Kukulkin. Easy S on Kumba too. Yeah. Kumba's so. Kumba's so OP. Mm -hmm. You build full cooldown on Kumba, and you are just absolutely terrorizing the enemy team for the entire game. Cuckoo is an FU tier god. Interesting. I think in his old iteration before they nerfed him, he definitely was. Um, I don't know. It's an it's an FU god in Koro's hands because that's what his teammates typed him in the post game lobby. Yeah, <laughs> I love it, dude. Anyway, Kuzumbo. Uh, I think he's A tier. I think he's good. All all solid displacement. A tier. I think he's better than A tier. I think he's S tier because you can stand in all that mage damage with Thorin super easily yeah. and just reflect it back and just be that's annoying. I, I, that's fine. Sure. But we can go A. We can go A. Your instinct was at oh, F U tier. Excuse me. Uh, Loki is an F U tier because F U if you play him, not because he's good. He's the only one who's in here that's not good. Yeah. He, honestly, like right now, you build an Eman line in its current state and. He does nothing. He, yeah, he doesn't do anything. Yeah, he's probably D um, in reality, but he's Loki, so. Yep. Medusa. I think Medusa's really good in Arena. Like, yeah, really, really good. good in Arena. Yeah, she's good. I'd throw it, her it's in. it's like safe enough that you can dash on people if they come at you in the back line, and you can, her ult is yeah, always ult. valuable. You can, like, sneak behind the pillars and ult people. I think she's great. I think Merc yeah. is also good um, just in going Arena. Back to Medusa. Medusa is uh, S tier for uh pc arena but fu tier for console arena you yeah if you're in console this is she goes up a tier to fu uh merc i, I know schultzen would uh be upset with me at this but i think he's very bad in arena i uh, like b or c tier um really yeah cause so, the thing is like um it, you can see him like his old you can see when he's charging his ult no matter where you are on the map true um, if you're paying attention that's the other thing like, you do get free somewhat free items I, that's yeah that's true uh i, I don't know I, he has single target cc most of the yeah, time yeah but i feel so. like he's got that hard carry potential like kali does oh, yeah. late game you know yeah. what i mean yeah that's so we true. could we could if, throw him an a kali i'd throw him an a i i, I almost think he's better than kali because he's got the big team fight ultimate uh infamous uh yeah they console kids can't turn around fast enough to so avoid the, her ult. the reason why kali i think would be better than mercury for example is just because of the alt and kali being a reset snowball. right right yeah, right it's better to snowball off of than mercury mercury is a better team fight obviously but um merlin generally horizontal and arena not vertical so yep merlin's s tier s tier yeah. easy mulan ah uh, a average average yeah a neath s tier she's annoying as hell if she calls out yeah she can set up her weaves really easily yeah if she so, calls out her alts it's like devastating because yeah, no, you have nowhere good. to run and hide yeah, I think your example with like Jingwei, where like she could back out of a fight and then still be impactful, is m better for Neath and better example because she can back out and just alt and yep, help yep. turn a fight. So, yep. Uh, Nem, I think probably A tier. I think she's really good at focusing out like um, either, you know, obviously the chase potential for a kind of carry with the slow on her alt and the. Um, obviously the shred potential on tanks, but yep. uh, what makes them get better in conquest, obviously, like with Golden Blade and being yep. able to farm up and yeah. No, I agree. Yeah. I think on Nem and Nem and Arena, you just build a ton of cooldown and you just become an ult bot. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, Nija, Nija is like he's like one of the greatest setup gods, but he's also like like you're so exposed, right? Like you're just good for the the sash ult. Uh, I'd throw him in A. I think he's a worse version of Kumba in Arena. Um, True. And gets turned on. Like, at least on Kumba, like, when you go in, you have Mez to get away. Neja, you don't really have it. Uh, if they just beads, it's just like, I'd put Nike in FU. Yeah. Yeah, Nike goes or, in FU. Sorry, I was I was going to... I was pre-putting it there. No matter what you tell me, I was not going to take it out. Yeah, Baba, Baba is up in S tier CMO because just crazy amounts of AoE, which is usually very useful. Nuwa, um... 
I think you get off her shining metal combo way easier in arena. Um, yeah, the problem and, and her ult is value. The, the well, problem with Nuwa players is they actually have no escape because they're constantly pressing forward to get play, uh, top player damage. So there's that factor, but I, I, I think A or S. Let's go A with her because I, I do think like most Nuwa players just aren't good at playing the god. But yeah. Um, she's really good if you get six items online and three of them are E Staff, Soul Gem, and Soul Reaver. And you press four when people are half health and then you'll kill them. Yeah. Um, I have blue lemons. Odin's FU. Odin's definitely an FU character. He's good. He's good in arena. He's not as good as he used to be, but he's an FU for sure. Yeah. Uh, it's also, yeah, it's also easy to get back in a fountain and avoid the new wall alts. So unless she's got like perfect timing. That's a good point, actually. That's actually a really good point. Um, but either way, I think she's still A tier for that reason. Yeah, Olorin, I think, is S tier. I don't think he's F U tier. Yeah, it's um, it's it's he's probably right on the fence. I'd put him in S tier. I think, yeah. I'd Osiris, garbage B, B or below C, probably. Probably C. I think B just because he actually has long range poke. That's fine. Uh, oh no, nah. my girl Pele. Mmm. I think it doesn't matter if you see her coming. I think she still does a hell of a lot of damage. I think AT is fine for Pele. Yep. I think uh, she's like the she's obviously not the initiation, but she can follow up off initiation pretty well. So Persephone is S tier for me. I put Persephone in F U tier. Really? I so that's just my personal. So I think Persephone all in arena is even worse than conquest sometimes just because like obviously there's not as many well, corridors yeah. per se but if you if she hits the one person like if she hits your tank and you every single person on your team gets crippled yep you just lose you know yeah yeah and so she's still to, and her plants just set up in the middle right where the minion waves spawn set them all up yep okay yeah, so yep i'm with you i'm with you i'm feeling it i'm feeling it. i'm feeling it uh poseidon s tier easy yeah easy really s tier god. not like an f u god like i hate people who play him but he's just he's just really great Any for the moment big team fight all like that is really good Sim raw to too i think raw is an s tier heals really heals really good and he's slippery so yeah he heals slippery and he can just blast people from range yep. like arena raw is like one of my favorite characters because you can just sit back and just cannon people yeah raijin i, I would have an s tier good zone -tier, control same. yep yeah yep yep Rama Any mage with a good team fight all pretty much goes in almost S tier yep. most of the time. Uh, Rama, I, I think Rama's good. Oops, sorry. You can get a lot of damage off. Uh, I throw him in A. I think uh, the lack of CC hurts him, but yep. Um, Dude, there's nothing sweeter though than really sniping safely. people as they're running back to their uh, base. Yeah, you can follow up really easily yep. um, off your team's dive. Rat, I'm putting in A tier. Yeah, that's fine. Big team fight yeah, ultimate, slippery, can be kind of tanky, can be kind of healy. Can yeah, it, you know, like a, I think like I think him and Ravon are both, good. yeah, him and Ravon are both that bruiser style. Yeah. You can get, get in the that. back and mix it up. I'm with it. Yep. Skilla, S tier. S tier. Yeah. I threw, uh, I remember when we hopped in the arena the other day, I, I picked old Scylla and if she feels really good. Just gave him the hands. Out. Yeah. Um, Sir Ket, I, I'm, I'm D tier with it. Maybe That's maybe C because she's slippery. I'd throw C tier. But I think just because she's slippery and she'll get turned on as soon as she ults somebody. So you gotta like yeah, I'd throw her in C tier. I don't think she's as bad as the other gods because her ult's not completely useless and she's not a wheelix. So all right, set. As much as Rip wants me to, uh, I think Set's. He's okay. got to be D tier, think, right? D C. <laughs> Set, so Seth's similar. I think he's a worse version of Kali. You know, yeah. Because he doesn't get the reset as easily. And anti heal still destroys him just as much, pretty much. So I'd throw him in C tier. Um, no C he does have really good poke with the, the 2 1 combo. Like he can, he can poke out pretty good. that good of poke, though. You know? No, I know. There's, there's way better poke. Oh, no. All right. Scotty, just terrible. Just put her in the bottom. No, actually, I think she's good. I think she's A or S tier. I think she's probably A tier. Oh, is, she's average. Yeah, I don't think she's... The, the ice is really good. Yeah, the ice is super good. She can kind of fire from range. It's really easy to protect her in arena. Yeah. And um, I think, I think she's good. Around Scotty. Yeah. Yep. Sobek, S tier, easy. Not even yep. close. Sobek yep. is OP as hell. 
He's got the pluck. He's got the knockups. He's got the zone. He's got the anti heal. He's got the sustain. This is the best god in the yeah, entire that's, game. Uh, that's what peak male performance looks like right there. Mm -hmm. that guy. Absolute magnum dong. All right, soul. Eh. A. I was gonna go B. I was gonna I go B. It, I'm, I think I'm going to be with taking it. Taking consideration every level of play, probably B because yep. our yep. people can't hit our ult. Um. So yeah. Yeah. There's just so many other gods that are just better versions of her. Yeah. Uh, is least B if not A? She, well, you can only play around her ult, which is only up every 100 seconds or whatever. Like why? Like you could pick literally any other character, and you pick a Wheelix to just pull people. Like, come on, come on. What do you do for the other 90 seconds, right? Um, Sun Wukong. I think he's actually decent. I think he's good disruptor. He's a good brawler. He can get himself out of trouble. Very similar to Kakolin. I'd throw him in A. Yep. He Susano. Have the of Kukulin, but uh, I think Susano's really good in arena. Yeah, I think he's probably S tier. Yeah, I think, I think he's S tier. His ult is just stupid. You fire it for free and yeah, it doesn't even matter. Yeet people like, as long as you get the knock up on it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so. tanks or cats decent, but it's not as good as when she actually had power on her ult, true damage. Ult. Yeah, the problem with uh, tanks or cat uh, Brennan bolts, I think in arena specifically, is that uh, as a support, she, her roam ability and her ability to rotate was really strong and the slipperiness matters more in conquest i think than arena yep that's yep. why sylvanas s tier is fine yeah yeah sylvanas s tier blink heals, alt heals pulls yanks somebody out of position i think terra for the same reason is yep. also s 100 percent thanatos i like i'm i want to go like a almost s tier because when you get that guy online man you just so i think thana is uh like if you're hopping on a Smurf and you're hitting those level twelve arena queues, he's a uh, fu. But otherwise, I think he's a. Yeah, I mean the thing is, like if you're patient, you wait for f fights to pop off without him, you just blast him. Uh, Morrigan S tier for me. Yeah, S tier. I don't think she's quite fu unless one of the other fu gods is in the game. Yeah, the only thing about Morrigan is. Like in arena, stuff. it's really easy to do that, like that loop and yep. and uh, polyproc and just like yeah. destroy people. But she's not quite fu for me. Yeah, Thor no, not up fast enough. Thor's so. a tier Thor's... for me. Good alt, good poke, good ranged abilities and damage. Yeah. And when you want to go all in, he's his, decent. I think his alt's not as good as you would think, just because like going back to the fact of you can see him. Yeah, like, you can. So that's the one thing. Um, but yeah, I think A tier is fine. The yep. walls, if you don't troll your team with the wall, I think the wall is the most important part of his kit, probably in arena. He has good poke on the one and doesn't get punished for using it as much. So, well, Loki's in the FU tier because we hate Loki players, not because he's good. Yes, correct. Thoth, Thoth is S, borderline FU. I just have to agree with that. Hit, 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 is just... Yeah, his ability to just chew you apart from range is just too good. I, like, he's not FU where I'm like, fuck, they have a Thoth on the other team. But, like, he's annoying. I think tier is also an S tier. It's the ability to get in the back and disrupt. Yeah. I think he, I think he's a better version of uh, Kakulin, basically, for this. And Wukong. Yeah. I think he just harasses, he heals, and he gets out. Uller. Mm. A. A tier? Yeah. Yeah. Vamana? Vamana's really good in Arena. Yeah, I think he's... You ever built crit Vamana? He just <laughs> People, do, yeah, I'd put him in S tier. I think Vamana is really good in those type of situations because, yep. um, just because, like, as long as he, like, it, people don't want to build on for some reason, Arena, I feel like a lot of the time. Cause, yep. Yep. Like, they're Arena players, but anyway. <laughs> Podge out here hating on the Arena players. It's going to be my oh, most viewed video on, uh, on YouTube. So it's mostly self hate. If you guys want to know where to direct your hate, it's Podge, P O D G E on Smite Game. Uh, Vulcan. I actually think Vulcan's really good for a couple of reasons. One, his ult is always impactful if you can hit it, right? But his just his ability to disrupt with his three oh, is yep. super nice. And people will fight and just get blasted by his turret right. and have no yeah. idea that oh, they're yeah. getting hit. I think he's S tier. I think he's S tier for sure. I think he's similar to every other mage like we mentioned, except he, he might be in the upper echelons of S tier yep. just because of that. Because yep. I think you get the items for free. He's still somewhat slippery. The ult is really good if you have the setup, and usually in arena you have the setup, and people are grouped. Um, the turret, people don't notice it, and it just blasts them for 400 damage. Just for no eats you. Yeah. Shibalanki is B tier for me. Like his ult can be valuable, but no. Nah. <sighs> I'd say B tier. Yeah. 
I think uh, he still takes a little too long to come online. Um, He's really only good for the ult until like 10, yeah. 12 minutes into the game. Yeah. Jing, Jing Chen is S tier easily. Easily. Yeah. He's up there with Kumba. You build full cooldown and, you know, some tank items with him and you just walk yeah. at people. Um, uh -huh. Yemoja is good, but I, I don't like the fact that you can't properly utilize their ult because you can't put the end of it up against anything. You know what I mean? Yeah, it makes it a lot worse. Um, people are grouped up a lot, so that makes it a little bit easier sometimes. I'm, but yeah, I'm almost I thinking think S, a, S, but I think the like two though. The pro yeah, I throw an S just because of the two. Yeah, also. the two and the, the three, and you, the three, the three is kind of like a Sylvanas pull, right? Like you can get people yeah, out of position. Yeah. yeah. Um, you, the Yelp doesn't necessarily need to be like the most impactful thing. It if anything, it's a, a good zoning tool. Or separate and zone. Yeah, yep. exactly. Um. Ymir, uh, like B tier. I don't like the god. I think he's terrible. In, the the wall is bad and without any corridors. So yeah, B maybe I think, C. I, I, I think he's C. Uh, I think. Zeus, fuck you. F you for Zeus. Yep. F you tier. Absolutely. Uh, Zeus is busted. He's. I think he, when played, is always the top damage god in almost every single arena game that he's in. Yeah, just like assault. Um. Like the blink freezes off of Ymir are kind of good though, but it's like a worse version of Athena. Yeah, I you know what the, I mean. So the reason the reasons why Ymir is bad in general is because of the self root and being able to get turned on. And that's even easier in arena. And then the, one of the better parts of his kit is the wall for jungle corridors if you're really good with Ymir. Yeah, but you can't even take advantage of that because arena is just wide open. That's why he's uh, right. Uh, Chat when yeah. Podge is right, he's right. Jean Kui, I'm like S tier, borderline F U with Jean Kui in Arena. <laughs> Dude, I think he's S tier. I think, uh, I think the pro the thing is he's like, it's not a burst ultimate, which is what you want in Arena, but he's like, he's like a mage, but he's also like the warrior, so he like harasses the backline really well. I think if they don't have like if they're less mobile characters, Jean Kui is F U, but if but usually they pick the mages with like somewhat of an escape, so you can get away from Zong a little yep. bit easier. Um, so yeah, that's why I'd put, I think S tier is fine. Yep. Um, I'm with it. Yeah. All right. I mean, this looks like a pretty solid list. I don't think, I mean, I, you could, you could make the argument to move anything up or down one. Yeah. Right. I think the only thing looking over it that I might change would be actually maybe, okay. Guan might be slightly better in, than C tier. Do we just move him to B tier? He can brawl. Just because he can brawl. And, yeah, we'll and move him to B. That's what you need. Yeah, well, he does have a pretty solid team fight ult, too. Yeah, and the ult's good. Yeah, we'll go A. A with it. You can slow a lot of people with it. We'll go build, A with it. Or you can build full movement speed. You know. Yeah. Yep, I there it is. I think, I think I over a. Yeah. I yep. think that's good, though. I think this is good. I think this is good. Well, guys, that's it for the arena tier list, the first of its kind. We'll, you know, we can do these every patch. Uh, if you're wondering where Sukiomi fits in this, he is absolutely 100% unequivocally in the f you category uh, until his nerfs go through, and then he'll probably be in like A tier. Um, but yeah, uh, let us know in the comment section what you guys think. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Uh, and if you guys want to debate live, come to my stream. We can talk about it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.